Will be Fusion to start on the kick. You can hear the chant. We really are on a mountain here in Boone, North Carolina. Into space here. So again, we talked about Holbrook. Syracuse superstar and now picking up some speed. Holbrook in the box. Holbrook has a chance to fire and he scores right away. Appalachian FC strikes. And what a way to make the fans get into this game. Not even a minute on the clock. You can see the second ball as Eversano gets on this ball. It's Holbrook that makes that peeling wrong. No one's sexy steps up to cover him. First touch out of his body, and now a very cheeky little toe poke in. Fernandez trying to show off his speed. Most games, once they hit the 60th minute mark, it was hard for other teams to just feel like they could totally breathe. Holbrook tries that tackle. This one gets chipped forward. And Forster out in the, the nick of time. When you're playing above three to 4,000 feet above sea level, that is going to be a factor. Obviously, the fitness in North Carolina Fusion not having that as many training sessions as they would like as well. Something to keep an eye out on. So if you're Appalachian FC, just try to stay on the on their front foot. Holbrook again cuts through. Three defenders swarm, and that's the only way Fusion can get it out of trouble. Can you play forward? Because it's Appalachian FC side is going to be extremely vulnerable. Dale Parker won the S NPSL Coach of the Year as we see our first yellow in this game against Appalachian FC. You can see the despair of the home side and the home fans. And so far, Chris Williams has to be extremely pleased with the reaction from his boys going down 1-0, hostile environment. Have the confidence to fight their way back. Great ball. From Robinson, out wide. Ferreira, too high on that shot. But like you said, that was a great buildup. Dinger evades the defense there. Again, back to Kelman playing with that yellow card. Holbrook in the middle has it swiped. Fusion wants to go. Gallieri picks up speed in the box, puts on a cross. Bumped out. Looked like it was going to land to Cagliari. Instead, it. To take the initiative to test Agnew too many times, you get to the final third, but just not having the finishing product. Wakefall puts this one up. Header just barely bounces wide. Appalachian FC has some time. That shot just off the mark. Decent look from Aversano. Once again, if you're in House, there's no need to try to force this ball into this wide channel. You can see how many numbers Appalachian FC commit in the middle of the field. As this ball gets pinged around, we, we once again see Appalachian FC trying their luck from distance. They have the ability to just pull it far too wide, but need to be a bit cleaner in the back. NC Fusion need to. Williams rips it away. Here he comes up that wide channel. Langa's calling for it in the box. Goes behind him, here's Langa, taps it, Holbrook shot, and he scores again! Camden Holbrook is a hero today. Appalachian FC is up 2-0. How explosive they are going back the other way. It's Williams on this right-hand side, but look at the run. As this run goes deeper, it pulls NC Fusion towards their goal line, and that opens up the gap on top of this 18-yard box for Holbrook. Fusion has something to say about that. Got to get going soon, though. Ferreira floats in the box. Starts, stops. Two defenders on him. Has to poke it back to Cagliari. And before that, it's taken away. Bethel puts on a serve. Fernandez, yes! Cuts the lead to one. What a nasty play for Juancho Fernandez. He finishes the serve. Just picking the pocket of Appalachian FC, and then what about a tasty ball in as he whips this ball right on top of that six yard box, and he's a special player for a reason. Oh, we've got ourselves a game here as we approach halftime. 
And I think we picked the right two players in the <laughs> open. I, we look very smart right now. It doesn't always happen that way. And now we're going to see a free kick for Fusion as Cagliari falls down to the green. Starts, stop. Finally, we get a kick. Fernandez adds that one down and a big clearance all the way back to that Mountaineers logo. Again, this is where Appalachian State used to play. We're going to see a red card. Head to head with Curtis. Robinson gets the edge. Cagliari has some space in the wide area. There's a header, and it's over the crossbar. Then we saw Pancho Hernandez, or excuse me, Fernandez, tie it up for Fusion. Then we saw a straight red for Brian Torre for Fusion. And that's where we are right now. See Woods, the referee, giving the bench a yellow card for Fusion. 40th minute, so not too long ago. Cagliari muscled away. And that's going to be the end of the first half. Well, we are underway in the second half. Again, Appalachian FC, first ever Open Cup appearance and got off to a hot start. As you saw the two Holbrook goals, they were there was a half an hour in between them as Holbrook scored in the first minute of this game. Coming in off the bench, it's the only sub as of now. Williams aggressive back and forth. Ferreira tries to serve it in the box. Grow keeps it. Spirals towards the middle. Williams has some time, dumps it off. Langa in the box, saved. Corralled in. You can just see the movement here from Williams to play off the shoulder of Ferreira. And then it's a secondary run. Langa gets in between the right. That's the first real save that we've seen in this game. Fernandez. Right to Agnew. Ferreira. Nice move, centers. Pass another defender, just keeps on going, gets cut off by Landau, and no call. Boy, that would have been a dangerous free kick, and we don't see a whistle there. I think it's stuck to it, the way that he runs with it so close. I think he's been very special for North Carolina Fusion. Fernandez. Again, just blowing by a couple of defenders. Has to use his feet there, does Forster, and now he's out of the box. Williams collects. So saw Aversano with a good head around in the air as well. Landau is up to help. Pass the defender in Ferreira, and we should get a trip. Yes, we do. Fernandez jostled away. Cagliari behind Robinson, runs into defender there. DeGroo, Fernandez is back to help out. Slice, Williams gets in front of that and we're just seeing Appalachian kind of, well, just as I say that, I was gonna say win those 50-50 uh, balls, but not so much there as Robinson gets pushed from behind by Looks like Landau, and we will get a whistle there. Looks like we're going to get a card as well. Looks like Birchall's going to come in. Robinson will come out. So Adam Birchall enters the game. And Mundu, or excuse me, yes, Robinson comes out. It's the second sub that we've seen for Fusion. Tammy had a great chance earlier, but just got tripped up the second he entered the game. Fernandez breaks through up ahead. Nice tackle put on, lands far side in the 18. Cagliari's closing in and clear just in time. Attack continues though. Wessels, Cagliari. 
Wessels again, top of the box. Back and forth they go. Wessels makes a cut inside. Alieri moves towards the middle, and Appalachian FC is all over that one. There's a shot from way outside, and Forster has it covered. Finally some pressure, Cagliari swipes, here he comes in the box, Cagliari shoots, and it's blocked away by Agnew. Degro, back to Langa. Players from the Netherlands, Langa in the box takes a shot, and Forster is able to deny. Cagliari moves it wide, We're trying to stay onside. This one cut back. And it's hit over the net. That was a pretty good chance from Birchall off his knee. Tony Dandel as well, just subbed in. See Birchall trending forward. Stretching out, slice, and there's a whistle. We're gonna see a card, but more importantly than that, Game on the line here. Ferreira takes it, curls, and it's in! We're tied! Fred Ferreira! Fusion! Lock but you need your special players, you need your big time players to step up in big time games. As he just opened. Arguello enters. Still using that right side. Now up the middle. Holbrook, danger. Delanga in the box. Cross, anyone home, and it's wide. There's that super sub. It's a good sign of a forward. Always on his toes, always oppor opportunistic, the way that he moves in around that 18 yard box, in that six yard box. Longa does extremely well to put and spawn in a dangerous situation. Tammy turns around, up the middle. Looking for Tammy, handball, yes, it was a handball. Off the set piece, it's up, and it towards that mid pose. The question is who last touched it? Cagliari, here's some space for Birchall in the box, denied! Unnecessary tackle, Birchall's not done. Now we'll get a whistle and he's the one to commit the foul. He'll actually get a yellow card as well. Agnew got a great piece of that one. Right back to him though, broken up. And now we'll get the whistle. So we're through regulation and it's two to two. Appalachian FC and NC Fusion will be the one to take the kick for Fusion. And we are good to go again in extra time here in Boone, North Carolina. This is danger. Lango with a takeaway, shoots, and it's just off the mark. Sloppy turnover here. From NC Fusion, I think it's Tammy that misplaces pass, but give credit to Langa. Just always asking questions. Off Ferreira, Virgil collects. 
Pushed a little bit by Curtis. There's a chance, and it's just over the crossbar. Looks like it was going to curl in. Virgil once again. Very vertical in his movement. As he goes to the byline, just look at the movement here from Cagliari. It is Carson Dinger who has exited for Appalachian. Hard knock. It's up, lands in the middle, turns, fires, and it's wide. Definitely got deflected there, though. Marquello looks for Langa. Get a whistle on the tackle. Another card for Appalachian FC. Virgil doesn't get there in time. And that's going to do it for the first half the first of extra time. time. Fusion's out. Appalachian's just getting one final meeting in. Dom Ratsky's going to come in for Fusion. So we'll see. Kossiatin Damaratsky enter the game. Dangerous moment there, and that's a of course, accidental, but rib shot. We really haven't seen any shots so far in this second extra time. I'll get a whistle and another card. Damaratsky. Moving up that wide channel. Virgil in the box. That's it back, here's a chance, and it's denied. Agnew with a big stop. And it's brilliant cutback here. As Virgil just peels off, very unselfish. Just put it into the top of the box, and Tony. Tammy right back at it. Cagliari fires, Agnew again! Opens up his hips and tries to guide it into that near post. And this is what Cagliari has been looking for all day, that window. Quick pass. Langa turns around, Forster's out. Forster stops. Two great goaltending moments in a row. Really heads up play here for Langa, trying to go quick, trying to catch NC Fusion sleeping. But first he comes off his line extremely quick and then his virtual needs to be better here. That was point blank. Doesn't always have to be pretty, Ricky. It just has to happen. That's what just happened with Forster. And now we're going to see a yellow card against Virgil and now a red card. Try to be smart, try to get the ball from the ball kid. I'm trying to do his job. Virgil takes advantage of him, tries to slow down the game. Arguello earns it back. And there's the final whistle. Yeah, An extra the time. 2-2. Two, two. And so we're going to penalties. Yes, from the captain. Arguello, who is subbed in late, will take this. Kevin Arguello. Against Forster for Fusion. Top shelf! Alanka is gonna step he up here. Forster. Here's the moment. It's in! <laughs> Appalachian FC is moving on to the second round. Win. Steps up, 120 minutes plus a kick from the spot, no problem. Picks a spot 
and just ropes into the bottom corner.